Welcome to part 13 of Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and in this episode, we're going to be going into the boss room, or at least the path to the boss. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with more Atlanteans. Yay! Even though we just got finished destroying the Sonic Emitters, and we just got finished in the last part defeating Atuma, which would have stopped the coup d'etat, the Atlanteans are still hostile as hell. They still hate our guts. They want to kill us. So yeah, the only way we're going to stop them is for to head into the uh, catacombs. And that's the only way we're, or at least the arena anyway, and that's the only way we're going to defeat them. So with that said, <coughs> we're going to be searching for coins also, because we're going to need them. Stop the and we are going to fight our way throughout the rest of these Atlanteans. All you're going to be dealing with is Atlantean armor, specifically the ones with special abilities like health regeneration and alter genetics. These Atlanteans are going to be relentless now that Atuma is pretty much ousted from the throne. And yeah, that makes you wonder. Now that Atuma is gone, the Sonic Admitters have been it has been destroyed. Why are they still Stop fighting the us? Oh right, you forgot who their king was, and it was Namor. So with that said, we're just going to beat up the rest of these Atlanteans and use Luke Cage's earthquake to his advantage. These guys get close. Luke Cage could just get rid of it. Every last one of them. And all the Marvel superheroes have their strengths and their weaknesses. Wait till we start getting some new characters. Which, by the way, in the next area we're going to after this... Well, however, we won't cross that road until part 14. But for right now, we need to focus on Atlantis. Leave Atlantis now! Alright, hold on. Let's get, let's get Luke Cage out of this area. We got him stuck. I didn't mean to get him stuck. I was trying to swim around, but didn't mean to, didn't mean to get him struck. So, uh, yeah, all these guys got enhanced speed. Or at least they did till I killed the one with enhanced speed. Oh, he's a guy did. Nope. There's just two of them with enhanced speed. So, yeah. Looks like you lose. The Atlanteans are trying to make it their last stand to get rid of the surface dwellers, and that's pretty much all their problem is. Just so much racism. It's just ridiculous. So, with that said, hold on, let me just destroy things. Ah, coins. Coins are just great. And so is focus. Yeah, we're gonna have to yeah, eventually I'm going to have to show off those comic book missions. Maybe not part 14. But after we get back from um, the I've located Valley the of Spirits. But whatever the case, folks. We're just going to have to take out a little bit more You're Atlanteans. And at least you'll be getting some experience on the way to fighting the boss, which is the Kraken. By the way, in case you're wondering what that screensaver was, that was the Kraken. So, yeah. We just need to swim our way over to the general vicinity of the arena. And we're almost there, too. We just need to fight some more people, and, and sure enough, we're going to be fighting some more people. But first... Let's break a few things. I thought that coffin was able to be opened. Stop Apparently it's humans. not. Alright. Just a little bit more. Oh, more Atlanteans! At least we're not dealing with Atlantean champions. Oh, look, another regenerator. Fantastic. And of course he's hanging upside down. <laughs> because he can swim! Seriously, these guys need to just stop. I mean, we've pretty much stopped whatever evil plans that Atuma has done. 
They need to stop and they need to sit down somewhere before they get hurt. All right. I've located the trespassers. Oh, we've got one with altered genetics. A very big one too. And that may be your only obstacle here. Other than that, oh, and, oh, actually we got two of them with altered gen genetics. Oh, that's like, oh, three of them. Uh oh. And this guy's got enhanced resistance. Oh, elemental resistance, that's even worse. Okay, these are your last obstacles, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't think they'd come out the woodwork with the special troops. I put up the air quotes here. But, uh, yeah. We showed those special troops who's boss. And, all right, we can go into the area now. Let's see if there's anything else here. And by the way, don't worry about falling off the cliff unless the Atlanteans throw you off of the border. I mean, you're not going to fall off the cliff like talking about it. I mean, you'll stop beforehand. But if they get too close to the edge and throw you off, yes, you can die. I just want to let you know that. And the Atlanteans will not throw you off. They'll more likely focus on pummeling you as opposed to throwing you off. So into the arena we go. And we're going to find out what the Masters of Evil is up to in here. And why are they causing trouble in Atlantis. So without further ado, time to go down the hole. And go in. And we're here at the boss room. Finally, at Mandarin? How the hell did he get down here? Let alone, how is he able to breathe? I know he has magic rings. But not even his magic rings would allow him to swim. And that has already been established in many Iron Man continuities. So, how is he swimming? Well, I'm sorry, but I have no time the to The fact is, I must he's here and he the stole the sacred tome from the but Atlanteans. I, go, allow me to I mean, I forgot what the hell that tome is called, but it's a very special tome. One needed to get into Mephisto's realm. And while he's making a quick getaway, we got our hands full with a Kraken. Yes! That is the secret weapon of the Atlanteans. This Kraken right here. And my god, it is by far the most boring boss in the game. Which is why I went there and separated the battle with the Tuma with these parts here. All you're practically doing is hiding behind the wall. That's it. It fires uh, ink missiles. And then it'll use a shockwave. And then it'll start crashing into the wall. Now be careful if you miss the uh, QTE. I mean, you might not do too much damage, but that means you'll have to start all over again. Once you get the QTE right, however, you'll be able to do damage, and that's the only way you're gonna hurt him. And this isn't the first QTE boss you'll run into. You'll run into more, trust me. Again, the pillars are the only way to hurt the Kraken. And all you have to do is beat up the Atlanteans to get some more health, and that's pretty much it. You stick around in the back, and just let the Kraken keep doing what he's doing. He'll throw a temper tantrum and eventually throw a punch. When you do, get into that crack and just repeat what you've just done the first time, and just do it four times. Why is this fight so boring? Because it takes the Kraken forever to actually get to the point where the QTE happens. Ugh, oh, so boring. I know what somebody's gonna say, just like your commentary. But, nah, I'm just letting you know that this really is a boring fight. The, the, there are better fights later on in the game. Trust me, there are better fights. This isn't one of them. <sighs> we just have to wait till the Kraken is done. There it is. All right, now for pillar number two. Let's hope I don't miss the QTE. And I missed the QTE, goddammit. 
All right, let's try this again. Come on. Come on. And I got hit in the process. God damn it. Don't worry, it won't knock you out of the QTE once you start it. And Luke Cage, once again, causes the Kraken to get hit by another pillar. Two more to go. All you need to do is just hit him four times, and that's the ball game of this whole entire mission. All right. <clears throat> Let's just uh, stick around here and wait for the Kraken to finish up what he's doing. Oh, more Atlanteans. In case any of your teammates take damage or you run out of focus, you could give up. You can kill these Atlanteans, and the Atlanteans will give you the focus and the health orbs that you need. And there's the shockwave move. He's got, like, four arms, so obviously it's going to be uh, a bigger shockwave. And I do believe he also has a roar, too, and that roar is supposed to do damage to you as well. So, quite frankly, if you wait till he finishes doing whatever the hell he's doing and then he also destroys the wall, that's all well and good. Uh, Any time now, man. Any time. Now, I'm not sure if he could break this pillar that he's in, but unfortunately, the best bet is to wait until the Kraken finishes his little temper tantrum and then for him to break the wall. And the thing about these Atlanteans, they try to draw you and your teammates out into the open. That's the thing. You're trying to hide in the wall and the Atlant- well, behind the walls, or at least behind the pillars, and the Atlanteans come out to try to draw you out so you'll be caught in the Kraken's crossfire. Oh, that's not good. But be careful though, the Kraken, if he does hit you with the shockwave Don't movement, actually off. does hurt. I'm on it. Anything else? It really won't hurt at all, as long as you don't take the full brunt of his little, uh, ink shot. Come on, break the pillar. Break the damn pillar. There it goes. Yeah, by the way, this is the whole fight throughout the entirety of the part. Yeah, 16 minutes. Eight of which on the, actually no. Ten of which, on this part alone, this fight right here. Surrender or perish. I'm not complaining, I'm just letting you know, that's how long it took for me to actually fight this battle. So yeah, we're almost done, we just gotta repeat the same thing we did and we're done here. And of course, uh, the Atlanteans are drawing us out. And yeah, that's another thing. The inkblot attack is heat-seeking, which is why I tell you to go behind the pillar. So that way, the inkblot attack won't do you anything. Just wait. Just wait. And wait. I know this isn't on hard, but I haven't unlocked hard, so, I mean, what can you do? Just keep waiting, he's going to break the pillar. And when he does, I'm going to finish it. Any day now. Break the pillar. Oh, Captain America's gotten strong again. Right. Break the pillar. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot one thing. If you come in with the Human Torch, he actually has a uh, dialogue with Namor and Namorita. And I'm going to finish this off the best way I know how, with some final justice, in the form of Captain America, because it's Captain America. And that was the Kraken. And unfortunately, Atlanteans showed up right as the Kraken died. So we're going to have to take care of them before we leave. Fantastic. Oh yeah, and I actually decided to bring that up now because I totally forgot about that. But yes, the Fantastic Four, specifically Johnny Storm, actually has dialogue with Namor and Namorita. So yeah, bear that in mind, folks. Well, you did. So 
<clears throat> one last thing I need to mention. Do not leave without the... Um, pops. It's a pretty good equipment to get. Oh, excuse me, I got something in my phone. But that's okay. We're done here. We've beaten up all the Atlanteans. Maybe, just maybe, they'll let us leave. Even though Namor told them to let us leave, they'll not. They'll just stop beating us up, man. I mean, we're done here. Yeah, they killed Iron Man. Yeah, they killed Luke Cage. But hey, at the end of the day, we at least stopped the riot in Atlantis. And now, it's time for us to head back. Okay, what we're going to do is looking around to see if there's anything else in the area, too. So there is that. So whatever the case, we're just going to swim out the way the Mandarin came I in. Can't move forward. At least, I think that was the Mandarin. I'm not sure. Whatever the case, folks, as soon as we're done here, we're pretty much about to go on to another mission. You did a good job. Or at least we're forced to go on a mission this time in the Valley of Spirits. To tolerate us, surface dwellers. They took the tome of Artarius. And that's why your and next stop that is his palace. Tome in the Valley means of one thing. Again, that's gonna give Yes. I want um, you to discuss Dr. Things with Doom Mandarin, a one way ticket to see Mephisto. Dr. Black Widow for additional information. And ladies and gentlemen, we won't have to worry right about now. that till somebody will, however want to know what the hell they want to do with that tome besides go to Mephisto's realm. And on that note, we're going to have to pay the Mandarin a visit. And we'll do that in part 14. This is Man 985 See you guys next time on Marvel Ultimate Alliance when we come knocking on the Valley of Spirits' door.